Recently, NASA did an experiment called Gravity Pro B. It's an orbiting satellite that is designed to, to um, prove Einstein's theory of general relativity. And what they say is that the Earth warps space like this. And what happens is if you have like the planet here and the Earth here, like say the planet Mercury is one of the things they did an experiment with, um, the light comes here, follows the curvature of the warp space, and bends and comes over here. What they're saying is, is that with gravity <coughs> pro B, is that it's going to basically be orbiting the Earth, and you have this warp space down here, and as it comes here, it will cause an effect upon the gyros to cause them to tilt. Um, what they're going to find is, is that at the closer they get here, is it's not going to do what they expect. What's going to happen is, is as it comes over here, there will be a steady increase in coupling here. And then as it passes, a steady decrease in coupling here. Those are minus signs and plus signs. And then over here, they'll detect a steady increase in coupling below it and a steady decrease in coupling above it. Um, According to Einstein, that shouldn't happen. If they're not looking for it, they won't find it. I'm asking everybody on YouTube to get them to look for it because that, what's happening here, is in within, within my theory. It won't work within Einstein's because this shouldn't happen here. Like, they shouldn't detect it actually before here. It should only be where the warpage of space is, and they're going to detect it before the warpage of space. Within my theory, I'll stop for an instant um, and go to something else. In your car as you accelerate, this is in another video I have on YouTube, as you accelerate you're pulling away from space behind you and pushing against it in front of you. The faster you go, the more density of space it will increase within your car. This is because you're pushing against space and it makes more of it available to your mass. In the same way the Earth, <coughs> when the Earth is spinning, it will actually of course, and since it's round, it will actually push against space, which increases the density of space within the Earth. Also, because of that, like a ball on a string, as you're swinging the ball, it tries to pull away from you. This is because, when, like in your car, go take that for a comparison. When you try to make a turn and you feel yourself being slung up against the door on your left side when you make a right turn, that's because you're bending the inertial flow. Space is no longer opening and closing at the same rate. Once you reach a constant velocity, since your mass will not absorb any more space for the speed you're going, the space flows over the surface of the mass. When you try to make it, and it's even, in other words, an even opening and closing, when you try to make a turn, you're bending that inertial flow. It's no longer opening and closing in a straight line. That creates a resistance. Well, with the Earth, the same thing happens with its spin. The bent inertial flow actually creates a pull, a greater pull, across the equator, thereby compressing the Earth. This is one of the things they found, is that the Earth is kind of compressed down. It's not perfectly round. It also increases the density of space across the equator. That's why as gravity pro B approaches the equator, it's a plus increase in coupling. And as it passes the equator, it's a minus decrease. And then over here below it, as it approaches the equator, it's plus. And then it passes, it's minus. They need to look for this, and I've tried to ask them to do so. They won't even talk to me, the scientists won't, because their physics, as far as um, general relativity, have become a religion. In other words, it's sacrilege to even consider that Einstein's wrong. They don't want to admit that. So please do look at my videos. And I thank you very much for your time and get people to um, get their physicists to look into this. Thank you.